Listen, listen, listen. It's real simple. Stop Chubb, feed Zeke, let Dak do what he do. W. It's the Browns. What's good, people? CFT, Cowboys Fan Talk. It's your boy, Mr. Ron, right back like I never left. Listen, first and foremost, I want to tell y'all thank you. I appreciate all the support, man. Everybody that's been subscribing to the channel, everybody that's been liking the channel, helping this thing grow, I appreciate it, man. I went over 700 recently, trying to get to that G. But look, all them likes and all them subscriptions is helping grow the channel. I just want to let y'all know thank you. And look, before I dig deeper in this video, First and foremost, I want everybody to just not panic. Relax. Relax. We won in two. We not 0-2-1. Oh, we won in two. And I know you like whoop de doo Well, listen, we're going to even it up this week. We're going to knock Cleveland off. And we're going to be 2-2. Two and two. And then we're going to start to get healthy. And when I say get healthy, I mean get healthy in all facets. We're going to start getting some players back. We missing two tackles, two corners. We missing two linebackers. Our tight end is out for the year. We lost a D tackle for the year. We've taken our injury injuries early in the season. We're gonna start to get healthy. Trust the process. We're gonna get healthy. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get Randy Gregory back soon. We're gonna start peeling off these wins. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna start with Cleveland, two and two. We're gonna knock the Giants off, three and two. We're gonna knock Washington off, four and two. And then we're going to knock off Arizona. And then we know the game that come after that. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about that when they get here. But listen, y'all stop panicking, man. Y'all been tripping. We all right. We are all right. You know what I'm saying? The team is coming together. It's good to take them L's early in the season. It's not good to take L's. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. But it's good to take the L's early. Unlike last year, we come out 3-0, and we knocking off whack teams, and then we get punched in the face, and we never – it's like we lost our balance, man. We could never get back right. It's good, man. We lost some close games. We ain't got blown off the field yet. Atlanta tried it. Ain't work. Seattle tried it. Didn't work. We got too much talent to get blown off the field, you know? Um, but listen, let's talk about how we're going to beat Cleveland because it's simple. Stop Nick, stop Nick Chubb. Shut them down. I know that's, look, <laughs> that's easier said than done. But I'm saying, that's what we need to put our focus at. Stopping Nick Chubb because I want to force Baker Mayfield to beat us. Because I don't think he can do it. They want Baker Mayfield to throw like 20 to 25 times. We want Baker Mayfield to throw 35 to 40 times. You know how we do that? That come out. This offense come out. We get up early. Them first couple of possessions, we got to cash. We got to go up at least 14-0, 10-0. We got to make them start playing from behind early. Cleveland don't want to play from behind. I want them sending, sending um, Odell on, on um, go routes. I want them trying to get back into this game. Because once we get up, that's when we're going to start doing what we should have been doing, but we haven't been able to do, feeding our beast. We need to feed Zeke, man. Zeke need that ball. I know Zeke is mad as hell at the last week because he had a bad game. And when Zeke had bad games, he usually come back balling. You know what I'm saying? But we need to get up early. Not that we shouldn't be giving. We need to be mixing, the, mixing Zeke into the game plan early too. But I'm saying, once we get up, then we're going to really start feeding Zeke. But we need to get up early so that we can feed Zeke. You know what I'm saying? We need to score fast, get up early, get up 10, 14, and then... We need to feed Zeke. And I'm not saying just, just forcing the ball to Zeke. I'm saying being smart with it. But Zeke needs the ball. Zeke wants to, to show and prove this week. I have no doubt in that. He's going to come out, show and prove, and it's going to be good for the team. And then with, the, with that, we're going to start playing complimentary football. Because I need the defense to show up this week. Defense, come on, man. Y'all been getting it done. I'm not one of these fans that don't, haven't seen the, the good plays, y'all. But y'all been getting put on short fields because we've been having – Atlanta game, we put y'all in a, a horrible space. You know what I'm saying? We, we we had the defense playing on short fields. We had multiple turnovers. We had fake punts that didn't go nowhere. And the defense was just struggling on the field too long. 
last week, we got down so quick, we had to get in the shootout, and then we spent the whole game just throwing the ball and not letting the defense get no rest, man. That's what, with feeding Zeke, the defense can stay fresher. It's important to play complimentary football this week. We need to start establishing a team balance. We got too damn good of a backfield to not be using it. Ezekiel Elliott, and look, Tony Pollard, man, you're on the clock, man. You had a bad game last week. You need to come out here and show and prove, too. I know Cleveland got a hell of a, we got a hell of a backfield. I got faith in TP, and of course I got faith in Zeke. But last week, man, y'all put us behind the eight ball. Y'all had Dak out there and the receivers out there playing by themselves. We got too good of a well-rounded offense for that. I know our O-line is hurting, but if the offense gets to clicking properly, we can lean on each other. You know what I'm saying? The backfield can, can help the receivers and, and, and the passing game, and the passing game can help the running game. But we got we to gotta call it right. That's on you, Kellen Moore. Got to call a balanced game. Don't get too pass happy. I know that we're going to get busy through the air. Dak leading the league in, 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 in all the passing stats right now. I know y'all won't give him no respect, but Dak is getting busy. It's a fact. It just is. But even with Dak getting busy, we got to not forget that our backfield is nasty and let them get busy. You know what I'm saying? Listen, defense, I need y'all to play this week, man. I need y'all to come to play. Um, we've been letting the opposing quarterbacks look like fucking godsends. Everybody looking like Russell Wilson versus us. You know, but we haven't played no slouches. It's just that our defense is not that bad. And I feel like we're going to get healthy this week um, mentally playing a team like Cleveland. It's not that Cleveland don't got the firepower. It's just that Cleveland has a specific strategy that I think we're going to be able to shut down. They don't have Russell Wilson. Baker Melfield is not even <laughs> It's not even close. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're going to be able to shut down their run, at least shut it down enough to make them have to start passing. It's not just that the defense is going to stifle Chubb. Chubb's a great running back. All respect. He's not Zeke. He's a great running back. But if we get up early, they're going to have to do what we've had to do over the last couple of weeks. They're going to have to throw to get into the game. And that's, they don't want to get in a shootout with us. Cleveland, that's the same what you want. you know. But I don't think we need to get in a shootout. I think we need to get up early, get Zeke in and rolling in this game. I'm thinking Zeke can get like 130 on the ground, another like – 50 through the air, like 180 yards total game, two touchdowns, you know, two touchdowns to Zeke, I think one to CD, um, I think another one to Gallup, maybe a field goal or two, I think it's going to be 34-17, and I think that'll be it, man, I think we'll go ahead and um, wrap this game up and, and, and get on our, our roll that I think we're going to go on, man, because I think we're going to knock them off, two and two, we're going to knock off um, the Giants. Then I think we got Arizona. I think I got that mixed up. And then we got Washington. And it'll be good, man. We'll be 5-2 and two before you know it. And the team will be in a whole different mindset. You know, right now, I know everybody think the world coming to an end. We 1-2. 1-2 and two. One and two ain't too bad for us, man. 1-2 and two is good for Dallas. Get your mind right. You know, stop thinking that it's going to be given to us because it's not. You know, 1-2 and two is good for us. I'm not happy about the 1-2. and two. Damn right, I want to be three and zero. But three and zero got us eight and eight. One and two, get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? Last time we was one and two, we made the playoffs. One and two, we gonna be five and two before you know it. And then sky's the limit, man. Because the defense, the defense is due for a good game. It's just due for a good game. Offense, y'all gonna keep balling. You know what I'm saying? And I got a feeling that addition is coming. But y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. What y'all think? What y'all think we need to do to beat Cleveland? And what y'all think coming up in the first, next couple of weeks? How y'all feel like we're going to end this four-game stretch? I'm saying 4-0. Easy. But listen, it's Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk. Y'all holla at me. Salute.